Hello everyone, we're back with another unboxing slash review. Today we've got Saber Bride or Saber Nero from Fate Extra CCC. This is of course one of the games that came out uh, a while back and it's continuing on the, the Fate Extra saga, which all takes place in the Moon Cell. Uh, I did actually manage to pick up Fate uh, Extella Link quite recently actually. I tried it out, I played it on the Switch for a little bit but uh, it, it doesn't run fantastically well. I, I kind of get the idea of it and the concept, but I don't know if it's it's quite for me, so I, I think I'll probably skip out on it. But I watched Otaku Daikun's videos, so I, I mostly know the kind of idea behind it, although I can't remember for the life of me why she's a bride, but she is. So uh, this one also, I, I managed to get off a guy on Facebook Marketplace like quite a while ago. So thanks for that uh, to, to the guy who sent me this. He actually said he, he'll do a trade for Final Fantasy VII Part II uh, for this figure whenever it comes out, which is like, I have no idea when that's gonna happen, but whenever it does, I will absolutely buy you that game, my guy. Well, up to, up to a certain price point at least. Because uh, if it ends up being super crazy expensive, we said uh, we'll just pay for part of it. So, here is an uh, instruction manual. Uh, to be honest, I'm, I have no idea why she's a bride, but like, hey, no complaining here. Uh, the kind of theme for this week is sort of the same idea. We're going to do um, Arthur and his, uh, his costume dress white rose version at the end of the week. So, I guess it all kind of fits the theme kind of makes sense but here's our figure straight out of the box she's looking pretty cool i believe uh her further ascensions she unzips this thing a little more uh oh boy it is it's totally just a single thing she could take it all off like that interesting uh she's of course got the bridal bridal bridesmaid thing uh veil that's the word uh, at the back and then she's kind of just clad in a white white outfit. Very cool. As for face plates, we've got just a standard kind of expression. Kind of uh, expressionless, if anything. And then we've got this kind of weird thing. Um, I, I assume this is something she does in the game. Uh, as like a kind of smile, smirk, kind of funny gag kind of face, maybe? I don't know. You can tell me in the comments down below, but it looks kind of strange. Does she? She doesn't have a nose compared to, to this. Here's the nose. There's nothing. It's kind of weird looking, but oh well, it'll do, I guess. And then, of course, we've got her sword, which name, whose name uh, passes my brain. So this is the same sword she has in the regular version, the red version, which, uh, hey, there's a video on that if you want to go check it out. But uh, her, her sword ends up matching her outfit once she transforms into this. So that's nice. As for what's in here, we've got a couple, quite a few extra arm and leg bits here. Uh, and I believe that is an extra head piece. Let's see. Yeah, I guess it'd, it'd go like that. Sort of. Fair enough. We'll check that out in just a little bit. So let's get on to some poses. Alright, here's our first pose for Nero. It is uh, pretty much the exact same pose that I ended on last time for her regular version. Uh, but this time she's wearing a different outfit. So it's it's pretty much an iconic battle pose that she kind of holds the sword in. Uh, it's essentially the same as the last one. And also uh, one thing to note is I am not sure if I've got the right hand pieces or not. It is a little bit confusing because she's got like 10,000 different hands. I have no idea why they included that many, as well as like different arms and stuff. But this kind of gives the, the the right kind of feel for it. So I figured, hey, I'll just use this because uh, I'm not going to leave it in this pose anyway. So that's pretty much what that looks like. If you've seen the previous video, you know exactly what it looks like anyway. Of course, the sword just slides in through a hand. Pretty easy to do. Nothing too crazy. So let's move on to the next pose. All right, next pose. This is Nero doing that weird thing that she's doing right here. I do not know what this is. She kind of looks like smug and, you know, kind of like in smug and playful way. It's a, uh, it's a very weird pose. Like if you see this when you close your eyes, you know you're gonna die. 
Uh, but it's kind of cool that they've like included a little uh, music thing for her hairpiece. I think it's a nice little like add-on uh, that could probably be used with a couple of other fake figures, uh, particularly like Ultria and stuff like that, because it's essentially the same hair, little hair flick, which is nice. I like it. I like the little add-on. Uh, and then of course she's got her arms out and is honestly the main attraction for this thing is her face. It just looks it looks too long, if that makes any sense. Because I know there's the, the Rio art style, which is kind of like the manga thing. Uh, the learning with manga thing that they've got going on. But I'm pretty sure this isn't it. Because she's still got pupils. So I don't know what this is. I think this is like, maybe Fate's Extra's version of this or rendition of that. But whatever it is, it's Nightmare Fuel. <laughs> But let us move on to the next puzzle. At least it's easy to put together. I'll give it that. Anyway, moving on. Alright, this is uh, the final post for Nero. Ugh. Okay, so this wasn't actually going to be the final pose. I was going to do something else. I was going to use this pose here. Where she's holding her sword and it looks really cool. This is impossible. This does not work. I do not know what what kind of crazy magic good smile pulled off on this but it is not possible to get her to do this pose while holding the sword as well as like having her head there in a way that the sword doesn't block the hair but then instead goes under her little like hair side bits here no that that just does not work it is not possible maybe it is but with the parts they've given, it just, it doesn't seem possible. I've tried for like, I think it's been like two and a half hours now that I've been trying to do this pose and it just, it does not work. For the life of me, it does not work. So I've gone with this. I hate Nero. I'm going to throw her away after, not really, but oh my God, this, this Nendroid is a nightmare, an absolute nightmare. So, oh, a review score. So, although... This pose is okay. It's okay. She's playing with her hair. She's got her sword out. It's fine. It's not bad, but I would have liked to have done the other pose, but it, it just didn't work. So I'm straight up, I'm taking off four points for how bad the posing is on this Nandroid. So they have given us like 10,000 bits and pieces here for like hands back there. Like, we do not need that many pieces. So that made things even harder trying to figure out which which part goes with what. So four points off for that. Four points off for uh, poses not working. The sword just not fitting in the hand. So the, the sword, the hand that she's got for holding that sword um, is this one here. I don't know how well it'll come off. Let's see if we can get a focus is this here. But the thing is, it goes backwards. So instead of going uh, from the hilt going outwards, it goes hilt going from the, the palm of her hand. And so it just, it does not grip at all. So it just falls out all over the place. And because of the weird angle, it's got to go like that. But because of how the arm is angled, so it, it also doesn't work. It, it just, it's a nightmare. So four points off for that. I'm taking another point off for this, this excuse of a, an arm. Like, what is this? It it doesn't have any points of, like, any kind of joints at all. It, it does not work for the life of me. It is so bad. Like, look, she she's kind of floating there as well. Uh, as well as, it, it, it can't, you kind of need at least two joints. You can't just have this one little thing that rotates a solid arm. Or else she's only going to go into one position. And if it's not dead perfect when they make it, it's not going to work. So that just, it was so frustrating. As well as like her head, it just, it doesn't work with the collar and stuff. So it can't go further down, which I think it should be doing. So it just kind of, it looks off and it doesn't work well with the rest of the figure. So another point off of that. So another two points off. Uh, flimsy bits. We've got the, the little hair thing. The other hair thing, so I'm going to take up another point for that. So what is that? Four, five, six, seven. Now you get a three out of ten. 
it, it, it this figure is really 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 bad i cannot stress how bad it is if you if you're getting narrow get the other one if you really like narrow get the other one if you're going for the complete fake set like i am you're gonna have to get both i'd recommend just doing the easiest puzzle the first one that that works out for you and just leave it at that because oh honestly this is if i made a top 10 most hated in androids this would be number one hands down number one uh heck I, i'll probably do that at some point uh so narrow you get a three out of ten i'm sorry for everyone who loves narrow but oh good lord she is such a bad nendroid that doesn't work hopefully they'll give her some proper justice because as a character i really like narrow at, at first when i did that previous video i didn't know anything about her but after uh playing fake grand order and seeing her in there i was like oh narrow's actually pretty cool i really like her i wish i had a good figure for her though the other one was okay at best this one is terrible Duh. Ugh. but that is gonna do it for this one Wednesday I reckon will be a lot more exciting. We're gonna have Conan, so from Case Closed or Detective Conan, depending on if you watch the dub or not. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it anyway. There were some nice poses, although putting them together, absolute light nightmare. I am gonna put Nero on my shelf and nothing is gonna move ever again. But yeah, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike and comment down below why you hate this nandroid so i can feel better because oh um, anyway i'm gonna stop i will catch you all in the next one all right bye